this is the RMO 50,000 mAh power bank and this is your ultimate solution so in this video we are going to talk about the features of this power bank the benefits of this power bank this incredible power bank and I think this video will give you an idea if you are going to buy it if it's worth buying and yeah let's get into it so first let's talk about the design so this is very comfortable it's slick it has this box filling so you can easily grip it from any angle okay and the hand carrier makes it more comfortable for you to carry around and it's perfect for travelers okay or anyone who needs a reliable source of power on the go so you can carry it around easily okay i actually like it for that the carrier it's it's actually an amazing idea the designer who came up with this courtesy so what about the features of the multiple ports so it has several ports okay it has three ports a and of course two of the three ports a it's any fast so it's uh, a type of fast charging uh, it can charge up your phone up to 22.5 watts so if your phone supports up to that watts it can fast charge it up to that and uh, the other that has a third uh, USB A serves as the normal thing 15 watts charging yes yeah 12 or 15 watts I will check that and I'll put it in the description below so it also has a type C which you can do type C to type C charging too that's the output and for the inputs it has uh, the type c so the type c serves as both the outputs and the inputs right and then the usb that's micro usb ports also serves as that so this depends on the cable you have right so this uh, different ports uh, makes it more convenient whether you're charging your smartphone, your tablet, your Bluetooth headphone, so depending on which one you're charging and the charging speed that it supports, this it's fantastic for it. So with the massive 50,000 mAh, it keeps your device running on the go. That's actually what I like about this device because you have like an extra battery life. I think we've seen the 20,000 mAh, 10,000 mAh, uh, the 25, the 30. Okay, these are like the ranges of power banks that we've seen in the past. But this like it's an extra life to power. So you show that you always have like uh, a power lift and your phone always be powered up. That's whenever you need it. So you bother about showing out of power whenever you need it the most. So one other uh, outstanding feature of this uh, power bank is the LED display so this is a very fantastic display that shows you the percentage of the power bank okay so uh, this way you won't actually be second guessing the power bank uh, the percentage of the power bank that's unlike the ones that probably have like dots on it Okay, so you won't probably be so guessing if it's 20 or 50 or 100 or 80 or whatever. But with this, you show the exact percentage that you have left in your power bank. Charging this device is very convenient. Trust me, uh, you have the micro USB and you have the Type C power, that's the cable. So it depends on which one you have, like I said, which cable you have to charge up. You can choose which. I actually prefer charging up with the Type C. I have a type C and of course it also supports the fast charge like I mentioned so it's both for inputs and outputs okay so for the out for the inputs I have a fast charge of up to 45 watts so that's what I supposed to talk. I don't think it actually takes up to that 45 watts for uh, inputs I think it's it I'll check exactly the description of the input and output and I'll put it in the description below but uh, you can fast charge this actually when i bought it uh it was around 60 i think 62 percent and it's 
I charge it up to 100% uh, within, I think, three, four hours, yes. And I, when I was testing it, I'll talk about that later on, but I charge it up again from around zero to 100% within, I think, seven hours. And that's amazing for this device. Of course, with the fast charge, okay, because you expect to charge it up for two days, three days, whatever. I, I mean, this 50,000 mAh power bank, but it was charged up to uh, 100%. Of course, I used the 45 watts. I was switching between the 45 and the 22 uh, 0.5 watts charge that I have. So, so it was actually giving it enough juice. So it depends on the type of charger that I'm using to charge this up. Okay. So don't use like two watts and tell me that it's very slow. And then let's talk about the usage. So it's a 50,000 mAh, but how long does it last? Because of course we've read about several power banks, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Like theoretically, uh, if your phone is, let's say, 4,000 mAh power bank, uh, sorry, 4,000 mAh phone, uh, your smartphone, you should be able to charge your phone twice with 10,000 mAh power bank. But sometimes it gives it to one and then the second one doesn't actually fill it up and it dies off. Okay, uh, the same thing happens to probably a 20,000 mAh, 30 or whatever. But this is it's actually different. So, during my test, I used it for about three to four days and I brought it down to around 34%. Okay, and it charged my phone several, I think it charged it for about four or five times, if I'm correct. Around five times, yeah. So, around five times because I was switching between devices. Okay, and it was around 4,000, 4,300 mAh power because I used a Samsung, so it was around. 4,000, 4,300 mAh uh, as for a smartphone. So I was switching between devices and I was charging it up. And it, I charged one device about four times and the other one about two times. Okay, So I still had around uh, 33%, sorry, 34% left. It. I gave it to a friend who is an iPhone to test this for me and she charged uh, her device for a week with this problem from 100 and after seven days we had 12 percent left in this device and for this whole week this was the only power source that was used to charge the phone so once the phone goes down this was used once the phone goes down this was used and for a straight up week charge it up apart from other devices because there was like intermediate devices that was also used that this was used to charge up so it actually explains the fact that this is a very amazing power bank I use. So, is this what you're going to buy? Or will you actually consider buying this kind of power bank? Let me know in the comment section below. Or if you already have this power bank, how is it serving you? Is it fantastic? Is it average? What are the challenges you're having? Let's discuss it in the comment section below. So, that'll be all. I'll catch you next one. Peace out.